What it do, what it do, my good people. Glad to be able to sit in front of y'all one more time. I'm on the road right now, so I'm doing this little vlog right out of uh at the hotel room. First of all, I want to do the biggest shout out of all things. We just connected. Solo Player Network has connected with Dead Series Radio. So you will be getting some of these visions in your missions. But yeah, I want to most definitely say salute to Dead Series Radio. I want to make sure that y'all go out. Download the app, Dead Series Radio, where you can get some of the best music that you need at any time, all through the day. It goes nonstop. That's my cousin, Cat, uh, Fat Cat. You know what I'm saying? Him and his clique, they do their thing. So you already know what it is, and you know he's solo player just like me, so that don't change up. So make sure y'all support. Go through, download that app, Dead Series Radio, and make sure you get some good music. You ain't got to listen to the radio when you rock. You can listen to Dead Series Radio when you rock. You feel me? Hi. Yeah. Now we got that out the way. This blog right here is going to be a shorty, but it's going to be a goodie. Because I got a lot of people say, hey, man, stop tagging me in your 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 post and, and stop tagging me in your, your new video. But the reason I even did the video is because one thing about it, when you got somebody from Mississippi put a challenge out, and I know some of the greatest rappers from my hood, I was expecting everybody to jump on it. I'm old school. I didn't want to be a part of it. I didn't want to jump on it. I wanted to see my youngest get on there and turn up for the, the, the sip. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I'm not going to let them opportunities fall by the wayside because people are not ready. I ain't care if you got them insane, rap, shit, you could have did a magic trick. Get on there and support our state. They all, we the most scrutinized. I'm up here in Ohio right now, and every time they talk about Mississippi, they see the pictures that been laid out and thinking that we're still going through that same type of situation. Yes, some things are bad, but we ain't that bad. Man, they think we they think we ain't free, y'all. They don't think we free down here. So yeah, so when I jumped out and I did this Mississippi challenge, my whole thing was to show them that like, yeah, we still get active. And yes, I did bring up the old times of like, shoot, we go hunting and grandma in the garden, we grow our own junk, you know what I'm talking about? We live off the land. Cause we do. We known for living off the land. I ain't scared to do it. And even though they didn't even make your situation, it's hard to live off the land because they don't want you to grow your own product no more. Hunting seasons are only in season. So you can't kill when you want to. You have to kill within that season. So if I'm going to some rabbit today, which is understandable too. So you got to understand that if you're from the South, you know, like it's, it's sometimes the season is best so that you're not killing a rabbit when she's pregnant or uh, going through that type of stuff is different. But when we kill rabbits, we get them in. Man, Evan Fudge ain't got nothing on us. We we line on rabbits up. You know, you know, talking about we gonna have a feast. We gonna clean them things right down the front porch. We gonna go right to it. I'm gonna either give y'all some videos down the line where y'all gonna see we got that deer hung up on the front porch, right? You gonna see them fish getting scraped right there on the front porch. We we some front porch type people, and we make sure that we make that 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 happen. And, and then we got some good ladies that always make sure the side middles. Or right on time to go along with what we cooking you know what i mean so yeah i just i felt i need to come out and say that because uh i did get a lot of feedback about me doing the mississippi challenge because i had told y'all last year that i wasn't gonna do too much more of the music i was gonna fall back and let my youngest do it but that that's the true factor to me when people ain't working or people ain't jumping outside from my city i can't even say nowhere else in mississippi i'm just saying my city when i know Oh, I got some of the hottest artists in the game, you know what I'm saying? So when they ain't jumping on these type of challenges, it makes me say something. Like, even when it goes down to my bro, Bosswood, Bosswood put the challenge out. We had more people do challenges outwards than we had that came from our city. He's from us. He just put he put a post up the other day that literally said, like, man, I'm staying to myself. I'm doing me. I'm focused on my craft. I'm making things. And I get them. And I respect it. A million percent, a million percent, because that's what it is. It's like ain't nobody jumping outside, taking care of no business. Everybody want to say that they good at this. I can do this, man. I'm the hottest mug in. Hey, man, babe, ain't nobody better than me. But then we get these little small challenges. There's nothing that you can take a few minutes out your day to knock them out, and nobody's doing them. I'm one of the ones that's gonna jump on them. If I see them, if it run across my radar, it's it's a wrap. I'm still Ali Killer. I'm still solo player. I'm still I'm still one of the artists that can can make it happen. 
And in my opinion, I'm still one of the greatest. I'm still the GOAT. And the GOAT is back. So to the point I just told uh told cuz the other night, man, Dead Series ready on my, my brother cat on wheels. Y'all make sure y'all check him out too, man. Follow all his his his, his information and make sure y'all get some ribs from if y'all in the Vegas area. But like, bro, anytime somebody do something, I'm about to start showing them like I'm not playing with him. This 30 years of solo player. In July, it'll be 30 years of solo player. Like for real, this this is something different for me. So I want to make sure that I put myself out here enough to say that I'm not done doing this. I don't want to have to do this. I want to see that my young soldiers do this. But at the same time, I'm still good enough to do this because I don't want to be on stage. I don't want to have a limelight. I don't want all that. I'm too old for that. I'm too old for that. Boy hitting, hitting, hitting uh, <laughs> Jackie Robinson number. About to hit 42 on y'all. You know what I'm saying? But still got it. But I'm about to be on Jackie Jackie Robinson numbers, man. I ain't trying to be out here on no stage and running around and do all that. But I'm going to represent Mississippi to the death of me. I'm going to rep solo player to the death of me. If you can catch me without some solo player on, you stuck. And if you do catch me, that is it's tatted on me. I'm really that. I've been that since 94. So 30 years in the game is 2024. Solo player still pushing. So for all the haters that was out there talking about why did I do the track, why did I do the challenge? Or you might not even like the challenge, which is cool. But understand, it's the reason why I do jump outside like that. To let y'all know that I'm never going to let Mississippi go down like that. I ain't going to never have them feel like we ain't the best artists in the world because we are that. It's just the talent that we got, we don't push it enough. And then the family we got don't push us enough. Everybody want to be for themselves. Don't nobody want to support nobody. So when I be putting out them stats and I say we're not known to do that because we're not. I ain't said to be mean to nobody. We're really not known to be pushing each other because we all for self. I'm one of the ones who like to push everybody. I just don't like the internet like that. So when y'all don't see me outside like that and I'm not on your status and I ain't doing this somebody because I don't do internet like that. I had to tell so many of my brother, my brother Omar, he hit me up. He was like, man, bro, I be doing these uh, podcasts. And now that I'm doing it now, I understand. But I didn't at the time. He was like, I be doing these podcasts, man. You need to check in and, and all that good stuff. And I'm like, bro, I don't be on the internet. But it makes sense. You have to be on the internet a little bit to be able to promote, to be able to get in with other people, see what they on, networking, uh, checking out products, doing your evaluations on products. I see it more now that I'm doing it now because I never thought I'd be in this space where I'd be on here <laughs> talking. This never came up in the smallest point that I'll be the one that's out here doing this now. But now I'm doing it is more of an understanding of what they was telling me. I never took it as hate. Nobody never pay attention to my stuff. It's cool. I never look for them to pay attention. I like what I do. I do it for me. I don't do it for people to have to like it. I would like you to like it, but I don't do it for you to have to like it. It'd be my therapy just to get away for a minute. I told y'all this in one of the other blogs. I do it for the therapy. But I'm on the road. Uh, I'm about to go visit this spot, man. They want me to come in there and do a little something, something, you know what I mean? So I still be working for us, Mississippi. I hope y'all don't think that I just be talking, bro. I'll be out here working for us. Most of my sons going to say Mississippi. In it. Most, most of my tracks going to say Mississippi. Most of my outfits going to say Mississippi or solo player. But I'm always representing us by any means necessary because I feel like we are that. Ain't nobody better than us. But we just don't know that because the way they look at us on the outside, they look like we some country bumpkins. They're still in, in, in the outhouse. They ain't know we had a toilet inside now. They still don't know we got a toilet inside now. They think we still go outside and use the bathroom and shower. And some spots we still do it and feel comfortable in it because we know what it is. We're not that mean. And I feel like that's the reason why a lot of the other places around us who haven't went through that. Even though they call us country bunkers and all that type of stuff, they couldn't survive if the internet was shut off. They couldn't survive if it was no cars. They couldn't survive if like they couldn't do the same thing we're doing if it ever went to an error to back to it. Everything got shut off. Do y'all remember back in 2000, 2001 when they were talking about the world was going to shut down and everybody got scared? Y'all remember that? 
all my Mississippi was great. We was great. We was prepared for everything. Have you ever had well water before? Let's start there. Have you ever had water where you really got to pump the water? Have you ever had that before? The way you don't know what enzymes in them pipes that could kill you. So unless you had that, you can't even start with me right now. Have you ever had a full garden? Like a full garden in your yard where sweet potatoes, peas, uh, uh, watermelon. I'm just going small. Have you ever had a full garden in your yard? If you never had, you would never be able to understand how we feel when we talk the way we talk because like we had came from that. Have you ever cleaned a deer? Have you ever cleaned and gutted your fish on your own, not going to Kroger's, save a lot? Have you ever did it yourself? Like, honestly speaking, have you ever made something out of nothing? So us being from Mississippi, we really don't care how you feel about us because we already see that the, the thing that y'all put on the table is that we just country bunkers. We don't know nothing. But if we reverse life, man, we'd probably be scared of y'all life too. Everything handed to you, you ain't got to do nothing. Man, that probably scared the shit out of us. Because even when we up, we grind harder. Even when we all the way up, we grind harder. We find a reason to go outside and do something. We got find a reason to go fishing, hunting, in the fields. We find a reason to do that even though we don't have to. We was raised in that type of era to where we'll never stop for us. We'll forever have that and test it in us. We always respectful. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. No, sir. That don't mean that we no motherfucking kiss ass and nothing like that. I got to say it like that. And y'all know I don't want to have to curse on you, but I had to. It don't make us no kiss ass. It's just literally respect. When you respect the person, you're going to get a little bit of respect back. And if that person don't respect you back, you don't worry about it. You just keep on pushing. You did your part by being respectful. Everybody ain't you. So everybody ain't going to rock like you. But in the South, that's how we rock. But we none tolerant to bull. I can say yes, sir, and knock you the hell out if you disrespectful. I hit you right after I say yes, sir, because you didn't say it sound crazy. Man, I ain't. You know what? Yes, sir. Wah, wah. Fast. We just different. We're respectful. We know how to live off the land. We know how to push with nothing. We know how to have no money and still maintain. Like, I done seen some of the wildest stuff in the south as far as living condition to where you just build a tent to be outside to be covered and then i know people gonna talk crazy to me well it's homeless people who be out here and they be doing nothing with the woman they in the city and everybody would do it. man you put a mississippian in the city with nothing if you become homeless a respect that happens to everybody but nine times out of ten, the Mississippi ain't gonna come homeless in the city when it's too much to do. But if you reverse standards, you put a homeless person in Mississippi and let them be homeless. Because there's homeless people in Mississippi too now. Don't get it twisted. But bring a city homeless person to the country. You have to teach them how to survive off the land. Because you're not going to catch nobody out there too fast with a sign talking about. Well, you can catch it happen, but you're not going to catch nobody with a sign all day long talking about, hey, I lost my job. Can you take care of me? Man, it's not going to happen. They're going to find a way. They're going to ask somebody, hey, look like your grass. Look, you got a lawnmower in your yard right there. I've seen it. I can be cutting that for you every week for a little bit of nothing. Hey, your trees are getting too bad. I know how to prune trees. I can do it for you. As long as you got the tools, I can do it with a little bit of nothing. But to actually just sit out and just ask. Because I don't like to use the word beg because that's, that's demeaning to people who's asking. Some people do beg, but it's demeaning to people who's only asking. But to see a Mississippi come in a city and go beg or over ask. To where I get old work at seven o'clock in the morning, you stand out here with a sign, and I get off at five, and you still stand out here with a sign. I don't see that happening. 
Because in between that time, we've been made something happen. So that's the reason why I'm 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 keen on representing Mississippi. That's the reason why I did the track. That's why I did the challenge to jump in the Mississippi chat. Man, I'm not him no more. I'm always him. I'm still God, but I'm not him no more as far as trying to do. I need the exposure to be the hardest rapper coming out. Nah, I don't feel like that. I just like to do music. So when you see me outside, it's just because I like to do it. It ain't, I'm not pushing myself to try to get a record deal. I'm already in the game. I don't need no deal. I don't need no deal. I'm Gucci. So it's just one of my uh, intimates. I thought I'd jump outside and say like that because some people was hating, talking about, oh, man, you jumped on the channel with your old ass. Yes, because y'all young niggas ain't jump on it. And you still got time. Go look at Fly Rich Boy and do the challenge. Do the challenge. Like for real. If I gotta put it, if I gotta put it, you know what I'm saying? Like, like for real, for y'all to do it, it's cool, you know what I'm saying? But the Mississippi challenge is everything. I feel like a lot of y'all youngsters from especially where I'm from, because I done heard a lot of y'all rap and y'all tough. And y'all still young enough, and most of y'all still in adolescence to where it really will work for y'all to where y'all can be in the industry. And we're going to support y'all 100%. But if you don't do it yourself, fly risk double. Go to fly risk double. Do the Mississippi challenge. I'm sorry, fly. I said, I said boy, I'm going to try to call you boy. They call us boy so much, I slipped up. Go to fly risk double. Do that Mississippi challenge. Tag me in it. I'm going to help you push it. But respect the culture, respect your game, respect what you are. I always have told y'all this. I never lied to y'all. I always wanted to watch y'all grow. I don't have to come outside. But when I have to come outside, it hurts my feeling because it's like, why are my people not taking initiative to take a chance? This man got subscribers, viewers that's paying attention to what he's doing. He's about to get ready to post all the people who did do his challenge that tagged them in there. This could be your shot. I don't need to be here. I've been sending this to y'all just to show y'all this. You can do this. It's not even my lane no more. I want to lay back, drink my solo player juice, look at my fine ass wife, and hate my ugly ass kid. But I love him though. I do love every last one of my kids. But I want to I want to be the father figure and, and the family guy. I don't want to be dealing with the music part like that. But I just want to show y'all I can still do it when y'all don't do it. Because when it comes to Elizabeth, Mississippi, anyway, and by saying Elizabeth, I'm part of Leland, I'm part of Greenville, I'm part of Shaw, I'm part of Hottendale. I'm in the Delta, you know what I'm saying? So when we don't say nothing, they don't believe us. And the Delta. Listen to the name, the Delta. We should have more tracks out than anybody in the world. We should be on everything more than anybody, but we don't. So when I step outside, everybody laugh and say it's funny. It might not be tight to y'all. That's cool. At least I did it. At least I jumped outside and did it. But now I'm waiting on you. Let me throw my ease up. Elizabeth, Mississippi, baby. Y'all show some love, man. Y'all put this on the map, man. But y'all get out here and start making some music, bro. Start posting that. Tag me in it. I guarantee that I'll open push you. Tag Ali Killing, whatever you do. I'm going to push you. And Dead Series Radio going to push you. Because that's the type of time that we on. We want to see us grow. Hi. God, body. <laughs>